Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Around the House. Today we're going to do a uh, basically an open box. I just picked this up from Home Depot. Uh, it was about, uh, well I got a trailer hitch also, but uh, it was about uh, 1849 plus tax and uh, all that good stuff. So uh, it's the Champion Power Equipment 34 ton. Up here is the handle to go forward and then to bring it back. Uh, it stays in the back position until it's all the way back uh, when it's running, obviously. Um, as far as the fuel, uh, that goes right here. Just takes regular uh, regular gas. It's a quarter turn. Um, it has a fuel gauge on the top, which is uh, kind of odd, but nice. Uh, down here is the choke. To the right is uh, open. To the left is closed. And then to the right for the fuel on and off, and to the left is closed. Your uh, run stop switch, one is on, zero is off, and then pull to start. As far as the uh, as the exhaust, um, I don't see the oil drain plug. Okay, that's uh, sitting right here, the yellow, and then right underneath of that. Uh, where you can't really see it from here, maybe on the other side. Uh, the oil drain plug is right at the middle of the motor. I can't see with my finger. Uh, right there underneath the oil plug. Um, looks like there's another one on this side with another drain plug. Why there's two, maybe it's a universal uh, motor. Uh, so this is the oil pump, uh, the oil filter for the hydraulics. Um, this whole rail holds the oil, it holds six gallons. And then when I got it, this was loose. Uh, but it comes with some, uh, the uh, plumber's tape. So when you put it back on, uh, as you can see, this is max six gallons, ISO 32. Uh, hydraulic oil recommended and right here is the oil level for how much oil is in it so it's going to be filled half full so it would be right about in this area and then this all, all came assembled so this holds the uh, the logs and then the uh, the ram slides it to the end um, this one does do a vertical or a horizontal. Right now it's in the horizontal mode. You pull this pin and then you're able to lift it up into the vertical position. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start putting this uh, oil in. So this comes with two of uh, the 2.3 gallons and the other one I believe is a single gallon. would do is just save these containers because whenever you uh, drain this uh, they, they recommend changing the filter after um, 50 hours and 100 hours and then seasonal and then when you are changing the oil uh, I say maybe once a year depending on how much you use it uh, then you could put the old oil in these old can uh, bottles and dispose of them and then when you get your uh, new fluid then you could save the empty ones for the next time that you're going to be changing the fluids. So this oil that uh, flows, I believe it's around 13 gallons per minute. So it's uh, quite a bit of oil. Uh, so if it holds six, it's changing, going, filtering all the oil that's in here at one time at least uh, once an hour. Or once a minute. And once again, you get two 2.3, so that's 4.6, and then you get a 1.5 gallon as the other one. Take off this uh, safety ring. Um, it pours pretty easy. I didn't put anything underneath of my driveway, and I didn't spill anything yet, knock on wood. And I trailered this. Uh, they recommend not going over 45 miles an hour. And I did 50. But uh, 
I, w I don't know if I'd go much more than 50. I'd stay off the highways unless you had some flags or something. Um, it has some reflectors, but you don't want anybody rear-ending you with this. And it has a two-inch uh, <clears throat> ball, and it comes with the uh, safety changes, safety chains as well. Looking in the sight glass, I still don't have a uh, view of the oil. And I'm in a pretty flat location. And then once I get this oil in there, they say to fire it up and run the ram back and forth a few times to purge the air. So I'll go ahead and uh, purge this system. I gotta put some gasoline in it first. It has a filter in it. I'm not sure if you can see that. Just to keep the gasoline clean. All right, unfortunately it's very uh, hot outside today and you weren't able to see me fill up my fuel tank. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and uh, start this up now. I put the cap back on my, uh, my oil reservoir right over here. Um, I did not put the um, uh, plumber's tape on there. 10W30 oil, just under a quart. the air bubbles in the hose right here. the shut off right here so it should be purged and then we'll go ahead and take it to split some wood and I'll go ahead and uh, tighten this down a little bit soil plug that says do not over tighten it or you could cause some damage